This episode is brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com, the number one seller of games and gaming accessories. And GatheringMagic.com, the number one resource for Magic the Gathering news and articles. Hi, I'm Zach, and this is my Maelstrom Wander EDH deck, all over me! Okay, so getting into the basics of this deck, um, we have Maelstrom Wanderer, who is the general. The basic goal of the deck is to get him out as quick as possible, and then find ways to recast him every other turn. Uh, starting off, we got three forests, three mountains, and four islands, just because that's kind of the way I felt. I felt the balance worked the best. Uh, three duels. Uh, three shocklands. Gates, because I like gates. If you don't, I don't care. Uh, filters. Checklands. Karus. Cycle lands. Command tower. Alchemist refuge. Wolf run. Lighthouse. All serve their purposes. Temple, extra mana, no maximum hand size. If I want another land, I get these. Into creatures. Um, first off, we have Phantasmal Image, which is a pretty awesome guy. Um, then we have Snapcaster Mage, Coiling Oracle, Eternal Witness, Phyrexian Metamorph, Kaomancer, Sad Robot, Teferi, so I can only play things and you can't. Uh, Riku also serves as an extra general if somebody else decides to play Maelstrom Wander. Mind Claw Shaman, because I like casting your spells. Galvanoth, because casting things for free is awesome. Kiki Jiki, when 2 it, when 1 is not enough. Hokai Tyrant, because I like stealing artifacts. Brutalizer Exarch is pretty awesome, especially if there's something problematic on the field or I need a specific creature. Dead Eye Navigator pairs well with Mr. Palancron. Avenger of Zendikar also pairs well with that Eye Navigator. And Mr. Jin Kataxis finishes off our creatures with his 10 cost. Can't cascade into him, but he's still really awesome. In the Planeswalkers, we have Mr. Wildspeaker, Jace, and Tamio. And then Artifact Mana, we got Soul Ring, Fellow Warstone, Ingot, Lantern, and Lotus. Then we have Memory Jar when I need more cards. Crystal Shard to bounce things i.e. Maelstrom Wanderer, Staff of Domination, which just got unbanned, Mimic Vat, because I like making tokens and things, and then into enchantments, we have Steal Your Crap, Steal Your Crap and Untap, Bounce Everything, because this card is really fun, Doubling Season, when one is not enough, Copy Enchantment, also when one is not enough, Stranglehold, because I don't want you doing things, but I can do things too, Recycle, which is an interesting card choice um, because it pairs very well with Mr. Omniscience here and I don't run out of cards. Then we have Crows and Grip to destroy things. Wild Ricochet, again, when one is not enough. Factor Fiction, because extra card advantage. Long-term plans is awesome because if you do it at the end of your turn and cast Maelstrom Wanderer the next turn, you guarantee whatever you want to cascade into is one of those things. Deck runs two counter spells, one being does everything card, and spell crown pool. And then we have extra turns with temporal manipulation, time warp, and temporal mastery, and time stretch. Then we have stolen identity to steal things, and to make copies of things. Spitting image also makes copies. Rider replication also makes copies. Bribery to steal things. Blatant thievery, again, to steal things. Unexpected results, because random is always fun, and because the deck is built so that every cascade is good, therefore every unexpected result should be good. Urban Evolution, Accelerant, 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 get everything back, uh, Time Spiral when I need a new hand, and finally Tooth and Nail to get all that fun, fun stuff that exists in the deck.
Thanks for watching Commander Decks, and please remember to subscribe and favorite this video because it's awesome and I destroy random cards.